Hey guys, let's talk about AFOWORKS Marvel deck. This is one of the best decks in standard. It is currently 20, over 20% 20 of the meta, which is not, that is very high for a deck. What does the deck do? It plays Emical the Promised End, but not by paying for its cost. So it's not a Delirium deck. By using a card, Afer Works Marvel, which we will look at the end of the video, to play it for free, and then you control your opponent's turn and do very, very stupid stuff with it. So we're going to take a look at the deck. It runs Servant of the Conduit, Iskanal which is very good because you will have stuff in your graveyard. Sigarda, Levana, and four Emicles. It has six Planeswalkers, two Chandras, four Nahiris. Nahiri being an alternative condition to bringing Emico. End of the day, you just want to get that big Emico into play, get her into play, and that is the end of that. Attune with the Aether, Traverse the Underworld, and four Harness Lightning. The artifacts Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot and the namesake of the deck, A for Works Marvel. For enchantments, you have Vessel of Nascency. And the concept is keep playing cheap cards, drawing into more lands or mana acceleration, or creating more energy counters, and play Emical. So let's take a look at the creatures. Your most important creature here is actually Servant of the Conduit which is whenever it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters, which is good enough. It's a 2-2, so that's pretty strong. It's a good blocker. You can pay an energy counter, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. It gets you to Aetherworks Marvel a turn faster, which is a big deal. So instead of a turn four Aetherwork Marvel on curve, you have a turn three Aetherwork Marvel on curve. You have Eskanal, which is you know, one of the best cards in standard right now, and Emiko, which allows you to steal your opponent's turn and do all types of crazy stuff with it. Now, you have two Planeswalkers. You play of Chandra is played in the majority of the decks, where Nahiri is played a lot of times in the sideboard, but sometimes in the main of the deck. Chandra is as good as he looks. He can accelerate you quite quick, quickly with the plus one ability. So he can draw you extra cards, so he can deal damage to a creature that's maybe annoying you. Overall, a great Planeswalker in this type of deck. Nahiri, very good. It's a initial, it's a different way if they are hating your Aetherworks Marvel from Artifact Hate or some other type of thing. You can get Emiko this way, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, one of the better cards in the deck and the combination, so they, the problem here is they all they both cost four. So they are Planeswalker that costs four. So you can't run too many of them. You have to run some type of combination. Your spells. A Tomb of the Aether is very good. You get a basic land card, which is nice because you need lands. And then you get two energy counters. The energy counters, remember, you need to hit six energy counters. After you hit six energy counters, you can... Pretty much play Emiko. Harness Lightning, even if you just had to get the energy counters, that would be good enough. I've seen this play quite often, is when you have a ton of extra energy counters and you don't really have the activate, you, you have a huge creature, you can use all those energy counters. You just, you can do way more than free damage. So Harness Lightning, very good. And Traverse, always a very, always a strong card, especially in this format. The key cards, Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot. For two, you get free energy right away. For two and a green, you get free more energy. You're at six energy. Now you play your Marvel. You pay six. You look at the top six cards of your library. You may cast a card from among them without paying its mana cost. What card do you want? You definitely, definitely want Emical. So it gives you card advantage. It gives you... The card is broken. The card, I, there's no other way for me to say it. The card is broken. I mean, it's so good. Getting energy, getting six energy for this type of deck, it's so easy to do. And playing an Emiko, it just feels bad if you're on the other side. It feels pretty good when you're on the right side. 
strong card, A for Works Marvel. Uh, it's dominating, dominating standard right now. And one of the reasons people are saying standard is very boring because you see this card all the time. And it's one of the top decks. And it's a lot of fun to play with, but not very much fun to play against. So do you like this deck? Do you have this deck? Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.